think one of the biggest myths with eye exams for a lot of folks is they think it's just for glasses and contacts. But you know, uh, with an eye exam, you can actually detect a lot of health issues, a lot of like, systemic diseases um, and things like that. A lot of kids who um, have learning disabilities um, and parents think, oh, he probably just has ADHD, I probably have to need to load him up on Ritalin or something. Uh, and in fact, a lot of vision, uh, learning disabilities are due to uh, vision problems. Mm -hmm. And then with adults too, with systemic diseases, like right now, diabetes in the U.S. is the number one cause of blindness. Um, some patients are diagnosed with diabetes because of the eye exam. Um, it does some really funky things to the inside of the eyes, and patients come in thinking, oh, I just need to update my prescription, and maybe that's why my vision is blurry. But we look in the back, like, no, I mean, there are very, very clear signs that there's something systemically going on here, maybe like diabetes or high blood pressure, you should get it checked out. And then, lo and behold, they go get a check, and their blood sugar is like through the roof, and they have no idea, you know? So, um, that's why it's really important to bring and get an eye exam. Don't wait until something goes wrong, get it checked in there. Even if you think you have perfect vision, it doesn't matter. 2020 does not mean perfect vision. That's why everyone's like, oh, I see 2020. I'm like, that doesn't matter. That says nothing. That's like saying if someone has a nice smile, they have perfect teeth and gums. That's, that's not true. We try to make our place very welcoming in general. We try to do some bright colors and stuff. Um, we have like a kids play area. Um, I have like toys in my office, but honestly, the toys are really for me. They're not really for the kids. But if the kids want to play with it, that's cool. You know, I have because I'm a, I'm still a really big kid at heart, and uh, I think growing up I didn't have a lot of toys, so now I'm making up for that lost time. Uh, we work with like some local artists, and especially a uh, Sonia. If you've ever heard of them, um, so we have some artwork from this gentleman named Misha Misha Tatuni. Um, he does some really cool paintings and stuff that I really love. And um, actually got him to make a mural for us because we had just a plain countertop. So he made a mural for us too about all these cartoon characters. We we're wearing glasses. And of course, me being a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons growing up. So it's various cartoon characters wearing glasses. A big Simpsons fan. There's Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. and Daria from MTV. So. <laughs> and then uh, another thing we do differently is uh, most offices you go to, um, there's, there's literally, I'll say an average office has about over, probably 1,500 to like 4,000 frames. We have maybe 350 to 400, um, which seems kind of crazy, but patients really like it. It's less, it's just less to look at and it's easier to make your decision. I found that on the street. How perfect. <laughs> Brooklyn, Spike Lee wearing glasses. All right, that's, that's, someone just left it on the street. I was like, yes. <laughs> so I think that's why the kids like it here a lot. So even adults like it too, honestly. Like, you know, not, not often do you go to a doctor's office and you feel like, oh, this is kind of a fun place to be at. <laughs>